Once upon a time in a faraway country, there lived a young girl whose name was Cinderella. This is a ripoff of that story. I got a lot of stuff to show you. I've been saving for Girl, I can't get over it. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Don't you look at me. Daddy, what's that? That's a garbage truck. They collect the garbage. Well, I don't blame them. There's some great stuff in there. <laughs> You're not still mad at me because I didn't send for you right away, are you? That's OK, Dad. Well, I just wanted to wait until I had a good job. And I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're looking at the doorman of the Plaza Hotel. Is that a good job, Dad? Oh, yeah. I stand there, I have a red uniform on, mm. a gold braid, gold buttons. Oh, right. Got a gold whistle and a cap a general would be proud to have. Yeah. yeah. And I stand there and the rich folks come over to me and they say, would you please? Do they? Oh, yeah. They always say, would you please? Would you please get me a cab? And if I feel like it, mm. I just blow some breath in my whistle and five cabs stop just like that. What you say? Oh, yeah. And then the rich mm. folks give me a quarter. A quarter what? A quarter of a dollar. Get out. Oh, yeah, you see. A quarter of a dollar. That's right. It's a good job. It's a good job. Oh, honey, honey, look, I don't want you to come up right now. Wait, your stepmama, she she don't want to make herself look just right before she reaches. You. You're going to love her. What's she like then? Well, let's see. Now, how do I describe her? Uh, you know, uh, a cactus, you know, it got thorns all on the outside. But, but when you get inside, it's soft and smooth and... Sweet as a sugar bee. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping your stepmama's like that. You stay right here now. Remember, salvaging Jim Cat is vital to victory. This is the Blue Network of the American Broadcasting Company. Honey, be careful. You don't want to swallow no pens. You know how expensive they are. 
Hi, Sarah. Hello, girls. Hi, John. Hello. Hey. Girls, I think it's about time you start kissing your stepfather when he comes home. Uh, Sarah, I think it's real important that we don't rush the girls. There's a lot of time before we have to get physically affectionate with one another. Could take a couple years. Sarah, I have to talk to you. Well, I think it'd be better if you sent the girls out. Okay. But don't get those dresses dirty. We won't have time to have them clean before the dance. Well, what are you waiting for? We decided that it's okay for us to start kissing stepdaddy now. Oh, good. What is it you want to talk to me about? Oh, a few things that I should have talked to you about when we was courting. Mm -hmm. I, I was married before. You was married before? J just relax, Sarah, because there's more. I have a grown daughter. You? And there's more. She's downstairs. What? There's more. It's because I told her she could come live with us. You have another person you expect to live here with us? I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Well, Sarah, just relax. The least you could do is meet her. You're just gonna love her. She's a wonderful girl. She make your two daughters look like dog meat. Sorry. You know how we struggling for a decent living. There's not enough room in here for the four of us now. And why didn't you tell me when we first met that you had a child to support, another mouth to feed? Some more weight on our back. Well, I was afraid if I told you before, you wouldn't have married me. I wouldn't have married you. See? at first but i tell you everything gonna be fine hey we're gonna be one fine old family how about it can i call up okay go ahead send it hey send it i told you i didn't want you yelling out the window like that our class people don't do that right you is hey miss fillmore yeah. but not to watch huh Hey, Miss Fillmore, I can't yell. So could you call down for my daughter, Cindy? Cindy, your daddy wants you! Thank you, Miss Fillmore. Boy, them Fillmore's are some low-class folks, ain't they, honey? Please, Miss Fillmore! Please, Miss Fillmore! 
Occasion. You're getting ready to meet your new stepsisters. <laughs> Cindy. She's the one that threw that garbage on. Yes, that's her, Mama. That's her. Nice to meet you, stepmama. Did you do this? Did you throw garbage on the gowns I made my girls? Well, let me think. Uh, now, Sarah, you know it could have been them Fillmore boys, because they, well, they do stuff like that. They holler out the window, throw garbage on people. Child, did you do this? Yes, I, I did. Oh, you got to get it now. Give it to her good, Mama. Send go to your room. I, I don't know where my room is. In there. Not there. There. Well, that's the bathroom. That's your room. Now go in there and stay till morning. Where are you going? I was just going to kiss my daddy goodnight. I said, get in there. I said, get in there. Honey, don't cry. Oh, you're not crying. Uh-uh. I'm only getting what I deserve. My clothes is that nice. People ought not throw slop on them. I want to get punished when I do something wrong. Well, you sure came to the right place. Hey, Daddy, do they always dress so fancy when they jump rope? Oh, no, no. Your stepmama made those for the Sugar Hill Ball. I'm going to bed now, and I don't want to go alone. She needs somebody to hold her. No, I need somebody to put it in front of the rat hole. Well, you want me to get out of my room so you can no, use it? No, 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 that's okay. Look, child, I guess I better say something to you. These are hard times. Mm -hmm. Your father and I got married to make things a little easier. I didn't love him, and he didn't love me. You didn't want us, and we didn't want you. You and your stepsister hate each other. But that's no reason why we can't be a happy family. Oh, I'll do my best, stepmama. I promise you. You better. Well, ain't it just wonderful how great we're doing? Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of good times ahead. <laughs> well, I mean, even better than this one. Yeah. Thank God that chicken didn't stain. Stepmama, what's the sugar here, ball? The very best dance there is for young people. Yeah. One of the best. Can I go? No. Why not? Because she doesn't have a party dress. Sure, I have a party dress. Maybe I didn't bring that much with me, but I had enough sense to bring a party dress. Let's see. I'm wearing it. Well, see, we didn't have real good parties back home. Well, if I get the time. Uh-huh. And if I get the material. Uh-huh. Yeah. And if everybody's real good... Oh, we listening. Then maybe I'll make you a gown for the ball. Oh! <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> Just something we won't be embarrassed about. Oh, I ain't never had a dress that good. <laughs> Thank you, stepmama. Oh, we happy to do it for you, honey. Now, you just say your prayers and go to sleep. Okay. Good night. Good night, baby. Good night.
Yes, it is. And it's a real pipe bomb, isn't it? Song. Back home, we just have a harmonica. That's right. I remember the celebration when we had it. <laughs> oh, send it, send it. I forgot to tell you now. You don't worship up here like you do back home. Well, they do it with more dignity. See, this ain't no Baptist church up here. You an Episcopalian now. Well, does that mean I can't eat pork? No, no. It, it means when you do, you can't let on that you like it so much. And same thing with praying. You don't pray up here like you did back home. No. Well, you can't enjoy it, you know, and no hallelujahs or glory bees or, and amen only if they ask it. Well, what about the hymns? The hymns are quiet and slow. Ain't no... Ain't no... Ain't no... Ain't no... Daddy, I don't know if I can hold it in. Well, you're gonna have to now. So if it's like that, I don't know why God would bother to come. Remind me. And so I ask you, my brothers and sisters, to put a serious question to yourself. Did the Lord mean for us to frolic in the fields without purpose? No, sir. Or did he mean for us to work in the vineyards of truth? Yes. And to drink the wine of knowledge? Oh, yes. If we toil in the vineyards, then one day, We'll walk out of the vineyards oh, into the kingdom of heaven. Ah, hallelujah! And in that kingdom of heaven, we will live forevermore to rejoice in the glory of our God. Please be God. Let us sing.
Mary. She could go to that dance with us tonight. Yeah. Look, there are a lot of chores that have to be done, and Mama's dividing them up between us here. Scrub the floors, clean the grease trap, turn the mattresses, beat the rug, and brillo the fire escape. Well, what do y'all have to do? Oh, we have to make ourselves beautiful for tonight. Looks like I got the easy list. Hey, morning, baby doll. Hey, morning, Daddy. Oh, um, how's stepmama feeling this morning? Oh, she's still sleeping. So I didn't want to wake her because she had such a rough day yesterday. You know, being excommunicated and all. Hey, Miss, your finger's bleeding. Why are you doing this? Well, Venus and Olive said stepmama wanted me to do this whole list. That's terrible. Now, how come Venus and Olive aren't doing some of these things? They have to get ready to go to the ball tonight. Well, if I was half a man, I'd make sure you went to that ball tonight. Now, wait a minute. I am half a man. I'm going to tell that woman in there, that wife of mine, you're going to be treated as an equal in this house. Now we present once again, backstage wife, the story of Mary Noble, a little Iowa girl who married one of America's most handsome actors, Larry Noble, matinee idol, a million other women. Woman. What the hell was that? Huh? Uh, it's probably just those Fillmore's fighting again. Oh, he sure don't know how to talk to his woman. Yeah, it's a new day since you've been here, huh? Why don't you change your mind? Have a little fun for yourself. Why don't you make a new dress for Cindy so she can go to that ball tonight? Huh? How about you? Come on. Thomas, do you think I'm a bad woman? No, honey. That's simply thing my bad one. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No. Well, you better look again. Because I am a bad woman. And that girl got to learn her lesson when she crosses me. Please let me go to the dance. Please let me go to the dance. Please let me go to the dance. When you try and Please dance like that, you go fall on your face. Look, I live out here. Now, I've been up all night working, and this is my only chance to sleep, so I'd appreciate it. You live on the fire escape. Well, it's wartime. With the housing shortage, I was lucky to get this. Matter of fact, I'm thinking of taking it in a border. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michael. Hey, my name is Cindy. I heard you jumping rope. My name is Cindy. My husband's name is C. Except I don't have, have a husband because I'm really just a kid. Yeah, you woke me up then, too. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well... Or are you on leave, Michael? No. You were injured and discharged? No. Oh, well, what kind of sickness do you have that, that they won't take you in the army? Well, I have nothing wrong with me. I just happen to have a job that's essential to the war effort so they don't draft me. <laughs> you got a job like that? That's right. I'm chauffeur to the biggest black market operator in Harlem. You a draft dodger? Yes, ma'am. Oh, but, 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 but that's being a coward. You bet. There's nothing wrong with being a coward. Because the Japanese were cowards, we wouldn't be in a war. Ain't that right? Cowards don't hurt people, don't start trouble, and they don't commit crimes. They don't even double part. You bet I'm proud to be a coward. I shouted out to the world if I wasn't afraid of what they might do to me. You really are something. Well, if you don't mind, I'd rather not keep talking to no draft dodger. Yeah, that's the one thing wrong with being a coward. You don't get much love. All right, I'll see you around. Honey, if you let her go to the dance tonight, I promise you I'd do anything you want me to do. You do anything I want anyway. That's right. We got up early this morning, and there ain't no hurry. I couldn't stay here with you now, woman. I'll be back in a minute. Uh-huh. 
Olive, mm -hmm. do something for Step Daddy. Hold that. Na 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 na. Hey, Cindy, honey. She said no. Step Mama said no. That's okay. How can you know anything before I open my mouth? Well, she said yes. She said no. But I say yes. I'm going out and make enough money to get you the best dress there is. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> Are you going to that ball tonight? How can, how can you make all that money in one day? Well, that's right, you can. You're the doormat of the Plaza Hotel. You got it. One thing I don't like about this job is that I have to know 10 minutes before I have to go that I have to go. Hey, Wilcox. Uh-huh. Uh, loan me a quarter uh, till the end of the day. No, I, I want to put it on my tip tray, kind of get the customer started. Yeah, nothing but half dollars here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 here's one. Yeah, well, you don't have to give this back. Why don't you consider it my tip? No, no. I don't take no money from you. You know, professional courtesy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course, while you're out there now, I appreciate any referrals you can give me. It's okay to try it on, but don't touch my money, even from the outside. Hey, you want to have lunch today? Nope. I'm not taking a single break today. I'm going to work so hard, I'm going to set a record for making money today. Mm. Hey, well, Cox, how about you think it cost the... Buy a pretty dress for my daughter. Well, what'd you have in mind? Uh, something like a chiffon cocktail dress, or, or do you prefer full-length organdy? I was thinking about something blue. Hmm. Well, blue's gonna cost you a lot. I'd say twenty dollars for a dress. Yeah. Well, Cox, you know I don't borrow no money. No, but I really need to get that dress. Can you loan me twenty dollars? You realize how much you asking me for? You asking for a whole pocket. I know. Well, I, I, I would, Hayes, but you, you know what I'm saving money for, don't you? No. Cause I likes to. <laughs> That's all right. I won't make so much money today. I won't have to borrow none. Let me get those for you, sir. <laughs> oh, that's a little crooked, sir. Just a little. There we are. May I? <laughs> oh, don't hide that pretty handkerchief. <laughs> oh. We sure are getting great service today. Ah, yes, sir. Today I'd do anything for a tip. Oh, wash your hands. Yes. Have you padded our preserves? Well, I started, but I haven't finished yet. We only had that one box of Kleenex. 
Well, time is fleeting. Our girdle, please. Mm -hmm. That's what a girdle is. I can hardly wait till I get fat enough to need one. Just give them to us. Apply our gardenia perfume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Hey, Venus, could you tell me what it's going to be like at the Sugar Hill Bowl? Hey, Olive. She want to know how the Sugar Hill Bowl going to be. <laughs> how the Sugar Hill Bowl going to be is what she want to know. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, I'd really like to enlighten you. Shucks. G, G, G. Especially since you unfortunately cannot go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. However, honey, fun, it simply can't be done. Oh. Come on, Venus, you can give me some oh, idea what oh. that going to be like. See, there ain't no words, no words at all that can tell you what it's like at the Sugar Hill Ball. There simply ain't no words, no words at all that can tell you what it's like at the Sugar Hill Ball. No words, ain't no advert nor conjunction no to words, describe this day the function. No ain't words, no speeches, ain't no phrases no that can begin to sing its praises. Ain't no words, no words at all. It would break your heart. We give it a try, stepsister. We give it a try, stepsister. Just a mind, stepsister. What a miss, what a miss, what a miss. What do you want to know? Well, could you give me some idea what the young gentleman's going to be like? Send me the young gentleman. What a young gentleman. Let's see. We need to do this, do this, do that. We need to do this, 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 your head against the wall if you want to. Act. I'm happy for my stepsister. I'm happy for you, I swear. I'm happy for my stepsister. Gonna be there, gonna be there, gonna be there. And you happy for us. You hate our guts. You're wrong. I don't hate your guts. As a matter of fact, I say they found me your most attractive feature. Oh, well, thanks. So what about the band? Oh, you ain't heard a band like this in your whole entire life. Right, and she ain't gonna spoil her record tonight either. <laughs> Ain't no words, no words at all. Gotta tell you how it's like, and I'm clicking and I'm clacking. 
and I'll wicky wicky whack him at the sugar cup. No words, 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 no
send it? I'm so brave, I could die. Not so brave, Daddy. Cindy, come on. Where? Let's make it a surprise. A surprise? I'll tell you just this much. It's going to be good and it's going to make you happy. Let's not talk about it none. Just grab on. Let it happen. You think you can do that? Just trust me. No. What do you think I've got here? I'm not going nowhere with no draft dodger unless he spells it out. Look, if you're going to call me names and just forget about where I was going to take you, all right? Okay, where was you going to take me? To the dance. Oh, why did you say so? So how are we going to do it, Micah? Sneak in the back so we can walk? No, are you kidding? I'm going to take you there in high style. Get in. All right, stole is the wrong word. Look, it belongs to my boss's wife, and they're due back home at 12.30. As long as you leave that dance by 12, I can put it back into her closet before she notices it's gone. All right, but promise not to peek while I change. Yeah, I was ready for the thrill of my life. Well, I know, but I just don't allow those things.
word, child. All these fellas at the dance, and not one of them's asked us to dance yet. Looking like this gentleman's here. This way. Want to dance? Why, thank you. She would love to. A moment, please. We have a very distinguished guest with us tonight. He just came in from Washington, D.C., where President Franklin Delano Roosevelt himself awarded him the highly coveted Silver Star. He also holds the Purple Heart, Congressional Service Medal, and a lot of little ones, too. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get together the nice round of applause for one of Harlem's on Marine Captain Joe Prince. <laughs> First, he's mine. Hush, both of you. Don't you know who he is? Why, his father's one of the richest men in Harlem. And every woman in here will be after him tonight. Woo. Well, I better get me another box of Kleenex. Thank you. Thank you. You know, these medals are uh, really nice to have. But they really don't mean all that much. As I was saying to the President of the United States just yesterday when he was pinning this big one on me, uh, the gold one with the yellow and purple ribbon on it. As I said, Mr. President, I'm just an ordinary guy who happened to be in the right place at the right time to save 186 of my buddies' lives single-handedly. But it sure is good to be back home. And you know... When I was in that foxhole in Guadalcanal, there was only one thing that I really regretted. And that was that I didn't leave a girl behind to save herself for me. I only hope that while I'm in town on furlough that I can rectify that situation. But enough about me. Let's get back to some dancing. And uh, if any of you ladies have a dance open at any time, Maybe you'd let me share it with you. You ready yet? No, I gotta do something with my hair. Would you shut up and leave me be? I'll never get done. You got anything a few days old that you could sell cheap? No, I haven't. Anything with a blight that you could let go for maybe 10, 15 cents? No, I haven't got anything like that. All my flowers is fresh, beautiful flowers, honey. Well, how am I supposed to shop here if you don't have a decent selection? Well, that's your problem. My woman look. Michael, tell me how I look and, and tell me the truth. Tell me, Michael, please. Michael, do I look foolish? Michael, please. Who's this, Isabella? Two. Strange. 
sudden the car isn't good enough for you. <laughs> Michael, Michael, am I really going in there? Well, well, if you want to, we could open the doors and give them a look at you, and they'll all come out here. <laughs> Michael, get out! Michael, you gonna take me inside? No, I can't, Cindy. Not in a chauffeur's uniform. Go on, get in there. Well, go ahead, get a move on. You gotta be back here by 12 sharp. Rolling in it. Yeah. That's what you call a real hot tone lady. But I would look at those shoes. Oh, Venus, what you know now? That's the latest style. I wish I could afford shoes like that. You ladies scared to dance with me next? Well, I'd love to. anything you wanted me to do. Now, there isn't there something I could do, you know, to sort of help the war effort? Well, we do need volunteers to test nerve gas. Well, that's very nice. May I have this dance? Well, I'm sorry. This gentleman here...
You're the prettiest one at the ball. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Who's prettier? You are. I hope my distinguished service course didn't stick you. Oh, no. Well, as a matter of fact, it felt kind of nice. Oh. Here. I want you to have it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just couldn't accept this. I can understand that. Could you try and catch the same holes when you pin it back on? I smell pig fat. That's my sister. Oh. That horn, but shut up. Yeah, some people are just so inconsiderate. Well, what time is it? 2,400 hours. Oh, I'm sorry. It's midnight. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, wait. Wait. Get me fired. I'm sorry. You don't want to get me dropped in a river in North Buick so you can have an extra dance. I'm sorry. Get in the car. Take the dress off. I won't have time to take you home. I have to drop you over the subway. I'm sorry, my guy. I'm sorry. She's sorry. She's sorry. Don't. You better get those things off. I'm really going to have to rush. Mm -hmm. You like it? Did you get a chance to see any of it? No, I can't hang around looking at dances. I have my own things to do. How was it anyway? Michael, it was fantastic. Really fantastic? Mm -hmm. Kids, if she's a little late. I can't believe it. Still a great. Oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael.
Well, how do I get home? Just take those stairs down to the A train. And then, right after I kissed her, she just turned and ran right out of the ballroom. I called after her, but she was gone. Then I looked down, and I found this. It's the shoe that she was wearing. It fell off when she left. I want to marry this girl, Mr. Archer, and I want you to find her for me. That well, shouldn't be too tough. How many one-legged women can there be in Harlem? No. No, she has two legs. Oh, two legs makes it tough. I get six dollars a day plus car fare. Forget six dollars a day, Mr. Archer. I mean, you find this girl for me, I'll pay you one thousand dollars. Plus car fare? What's her name? I, I never asked her. Where she live? Where does she live? If I knew where she lived, what the Sam Hill would I need you for? Okay, good point. What's she look like? Like an angel. She's just the most beautiful, lovely, radiant girl I've ever seen in my life. Any scars, moles, or missing teeth? Look. Here's a list of all the people who were invited to the ball. I want you to go to these people, each of them, and you keep going until you find the girl that fits this. And you gotta find her by Wednesday, cause I'm shipping out. I've got to have a little advance. How much? How about uh, seven dollars and fifty cents? I get a new suit for this job. I don't have a uh, 50 cent change. Keep it. Okay, maybe I can get a new hat too. <clears throat> now, Mr. Archer, I really don't think you're going to be needing a gun. This isn't for that. It's for this. At a table for two. There were four of us. Me, your big teeth, and you. From your ankle up, I'll say you sure are sweet. From that down, there's just too much feet. Yes, your feet's too big. Don't want you because your feet's too big. Can't use you because your feet's too big. I really hate you because your feet's too big. Yeah. Where'd you get them? Your girl, she likes you, she thinks you're nice. Got what it takes to be in paradise. She said she likes your face, she likes your rig. Man, oh man, them things are too big. Oh, your feet. Don't want you cause your feet too big. I'm mad at you cause you're too big. I hate you cause your feet too big. I don't think you're allowed to use Vaseline. You said you wanted to fit and it's gonna fit. That's okay, Mr. Detective. See, we just forgot we had Vaseline on my feet the night of the dance. Helped me glide across the floor. Should have seen me. Come on. Come on. Come on, you almost got it. Jam it in there. Bend that toilet enough. Oh, I got it. Can't deny that. Let's see you walk a few steps. Walk? You didn't say I had to walk in it. You have to walk in it. Get 
it off. Honey, I'm sure you can walk for the gentleman. Well, get it off. Well, you said it was a little tight the night of the ball, but you did. Get it off! Oh, the heck with you. Let oh. your sister try it on. Mm. Now, come on, darling. Now, don't you let us down. Oh, I won't, Mama. This is a real tiny sneaker. But don't worry, because I have the tiniest feet there is. That's about it. Oh, I hope you do, honey, because you're the last one on my list. Oh, I do. They don't call me rat feet for nothing. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, ladies. Don't want you cause your feet's too big. Mad at you cause your feet's too big. I hate you because you're too big. What are you doing with that sneaker? I'm trying to find a girl who lost it. Do you have any idea who she is? What do you want her for? Never mind what I want her for. Just tell me where you know her. I'm a detective. Can I see that badge again? I don't have a badge. I just flip my wallet open every time I say I'm a detective. If you know anything, just tell me. I'm not trying to do anything bad to her. The girl that wore this went to a dance. Apparently, she was something special, so special that Captain Joe Prince himself is trying to find her to marry her. Wants to marry her? He don't deserve her. Do you know the girl? I'm not sure. A lot of people wear sneakers to a dance, and if you Look, don't have more of description... what's her name, huh? I don't know. Do you know who Captain Joe Prince is? He's rich, great-looking, fine manners. Why, the Japanese think it's an honor to be killed by him. The girl couldn't do any better. What if I said I was better? I'm not the draft board. You don't have to prove your nuts to me. Yeah, you're right. Cindy. Her name's Cindy. She lives upstairs with Mrs. Hayes. <laughs> oh, boy. I think I've just made myself a thousand dollars. Hey, lady. Lady with the ugly daughters. Yeah. You have a daughter named Cindy? Yes, that's so. Oh, get her here. Get everybody here. I'm going to go get the captain. She's the one I'm looking for. I don't believe it. You the luckiest mother in Harlem. I'm going to have enough money to be what I've always dreamed of being. Lower middle class. How about that? Cindy was at the dance last night. Hey, Mama, you going to punish us? You going to whoop and throw it, Mama? Punish my darling, sweet little child? My own daughter? I don't want to hear any more bad talk like that. Now I'm going down to the palace to see your father. He's going to be the happiest doorman in New York City. I always did like her. Hotel. This is the Plaza Hotel. Does Thomas J. Hayes work here? Sure he does. Well, where is he? Thomas! Some doorman. <laughs> now, sir, I never really said what kind of doors. A men's room attendant. A lying, deceiving men's room attendant. And when I think of all those nights, you came home from here right into my arms. Oh, honey. A men's room attendant. I know wait, where wait, nothing wait, men's wait, room wait, attendant. Wait, wait, wait. A low down wait, wait, wait. Before we go on with this conversation, there's something you gotta get straight. You got a right to be mad. I admit I was bad. I admit that I lied. I don't have no glamorous occupation, but woman, I do have my pride. I ain't no millionaire, 
No movie star. No genius. But there's one thing at which I happen to excel. I am the best. Damn. Owl folding, jacket holding, the best. Damn. And picking, damn you flicking. Men through a tender in the history of the as a hotel and don't you forget it oh you may never see my name in any headline but check out anyone amongst my clientele is the best that's right they talk about me the best damn chrome shining cedar signing dance group attended in the history of the as a hotel you better believe it now there are lots of fancy schools where they can teach you oh yeah to be a doctor or a lawyer or a preacher oh yeah but what it takes to do this job of mine a man cannot be a man has either got it or he ain't. And this man got it. Do a, do a, do a, do a. And on the day St. Peter asked for my credentials, the Lord gonna tap it on his shoulder and say, Hell, this is the best damn. what I am and I'm not what I'm not and you can take it or leave it and I ain't got all day. So what's it gonna be? Hmm. Oh, thank you, darling. It's okay, Daddy. Are you kissing me because I'm uh, sexy and irresistible or because I'm the future father-in-law of the richest man in Harlem. Well? I, I want the truth, woman. Well, if you must know, it's a bit of both. Yeah, I can respect that. <coughs> well, Captain, come on in. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. I hope you excuse the way the place looks. Oh, well, that's OK. It's no worse than some of the foxholes I've been in. He got fine manners. Oh, we all have fine manners here. May I perform the introductions? I'd appreciate that, sir. First off, you know who I am? Are you Cindy's father? That's it. It's an honor. No kid. Oh, this honey here, this is my wife, Sarah. Smile, Sarah. Uh, and these two sweet dumplings here, these are my stepdaughters. This is Olive and Venus. Say a nice hello, girls. Hello. Hi. You're just as gorgeous in the daylight. Well, it's just the uniform. What do you mean? Other Marines don't look as gorgeous as you do in their uniforms. Well, you found me out. What's wrong with you, fool? Right. Oh, I hear you have a right. sweet loving girl like me, but you said you don't want her. What is you wrong? said you don't want her because she can't fit no oh, shoes. Man. Honey, I will make you forget all about that shoe thing. Girl! But man, I don't want him, I want him now. Wait now up, girl. Uh, My apologies, Captain. Oh, no apologies necessary. It's understandable. Here, let me talk with her. I'll Olive, I'm going to have to say something to you that might cause you 
Well, a great deal of difficulty. You can't have me. But somewhere out there walking around is someone for you, someone just for you, to take care of you and to give you real pleasure. Yeah, but what he's gonna be like, Captain? Oh, I got a hunch he's gonna be a lot like you. <laughs> just my luck. You'll forgive me if I get right to the point, but I have a train to catch to the Marine base tonight. Oh, are you shipping out again, Captain? Oh, no, sir. I, uh, I have to pose for a recruiting poster tomorrow. I don't have enough money, but the man said he'd trust me. Hello, Cindy. <sighs> Hi, Captain. Cindy, I believe I have something that belongs to you. I just threw the other one away. Excuse me, Captain. Yes. Uh, hey, you kid! You find a stick in that ash can, it's mine! It's a Captain, you came all this way just to bring me back my sneaker? Well, no, I, uh... I came to bring you back your sneaker and to ask you to marry me. Say what? You say nothing till I ask some good, hard questions of this young man. This ain't no trash pickup, you know. But, Daddy... We... But nothing. You go out. Go out. The rest of you women go about your business also. Now your father's right. That's the way high class people does it. But don't get so high class you screw it up. Go on, woman. Sit down, Captain. Thank you, sir. Well, I suppose you wanted to know all about my financial situation and my attitudes towards religion and children and... No, 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 no. Oh, we'll, we'll get to all of that, but... Uh, First, I'd like to discuss some important things. Mm. How much you tip in the toilet? <laughs> hey, Michael! Michael, I'm so glad to see you. The most wonderful thing just happened to me. Yeah, I heard you gonna marry Joe Prince. Well, it didn't actually happen yet. He's in there getting my stepmom and my daddy's permission, which don't seem like no major obstacle. <laughs> and, Michael, what's that suitcase for? I'm enlisting. Enlisting? You? Well, they would have drafted me anyway. Oh, how can they draft you? I thought you said your boss wouldn't let them. I didn't like that job, so I decided to quit. And Michael, what's going on? Just what I told you. Uh, there's something you ain't telling me. I just can't figure it out. Hey, Michael, did they find out you stole that dress from me and fired you because of it? Yeah, I guess they caught on. How? Who knows? Maybe it was when I went to put the dress back into his wife's closet and I turned around and she was standing there naked. Oh, Michael, it isn't fair. Why are things going so good for me, so bad for you? Could have been worse. <laughs> what do you mean, worse? Could have been the other way around. What do you mean, if, if something bad had happened to me? Oh, Michael. Cindy! Yes, Captain? Uh... Cindy, may I join you on the fire escape? Sure. Thank you. Oh, my. What a beautiful view. Why, you can see all the way down to the end of the alley. Mm -hmm. Cindy, your mother and father have given me permission to ask you something. I don't quite know how to put it. I'm only a simple leather neck. I don't have a way with words. I guess I express myself best by wiping out machine gun nests. What I'm trying to say, Cindy, is that there's not another woman in the world that I'd be prouder to have as my widow. 
Cindy, will you marry me? Oh, well, Captain, I'm grateful that you asked me, but uh, I need time to think it over. There is no time for any of us in war. Besides, I have a photographer waiting. Well, I'm sorry, but I still need time to think on it. No, you don't. I mean, I should consider all this very carefully. No, you shouldn't. I mean, otherwise I might be sorry later. No, you won't. I'd be a fool just to go no, on. No, you wouldn't. Now, Cindy, I am going to give you some solid advice, which I am sure you're going to follow, not being a dunce. I thank you, Captain. When you are making most decisions, it pays to think twice. But when it comes to love, it don't even pay to think once. It don't? it happen when it happens don't be too smart don't ask questions don't destroy it just enjoy it with all your heart Take it there and then When it happens Let it happen It may never happen again Let me see if I got this right Now you say when it happens When it happens I should just let it happen Simply let it happen When it happens When it happens I mustn't be too smart There's such a thing as being too smart Don't ask questions Ain't no time for no question, honey. Let's get to the answer. destroy it Don't smash it, don't crash it, don't bust it, don't bash it Just in anybody in here. It's gotta be. Uh, hey. L E H pretty girl D O 
Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? You still can't hear me? Oh, I'm sorry. I just gotta find someone. Oh, that's okay. One A. Question number 80. Have you ever been in jail? If you have never been in jail, you will answer question 80, no. If you have been in jail, you will answer question 80, yes. Any questions? What do you do if you've never been in jail? If you have never been in jail, you will answer question 80, no. If you have been in jail, you will answer question 80, yes. Any questions? Anybody here seen Michael Simpson? If you have seen Michael Simpson, you will answer yes. If you have not seen Michael Simpson, you will answer no. Any questions? What do you do if you don't know Michael Simpson? If you have not seen him or know Michael Simpson, you will answer no. If you have seen and do know Michael Simpson, you will answer yes. Any questions? At this next moment will be the most memorable of your Michael, life. Michael! Michael! Oh, oh, Michael, I decided that I'd rather starve with you than, than to live in a palace with that captain. You would? <laughs> oh! Well, we must be meant for each other, because I've just decided that I want a stupid girl. Oh! Stand at attention. Raise your right hand oh, and repeat no. after me. I and give your name. Just a moment. solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance. I, Michael Simpson, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the United States of America. To the United States of America. And to you too, honey. Right back at you. True faith and allegiance. <laughs> and that I will serve them honestly and faithfully against all enemies whomsoever. That I will serve them honestly and faithfully against all their enemies whomsoever. You ever have any enemies, you just let me know who they are, honey. Right now, I love everybody. That I will obey the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed above me in accordance with the rules and articles of war. That I will obey the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the rules and orders of war. Congratulations, honey. I think we married. <laughs> I love you too. You take care. Mm -hmm. I'll write you six times a day. Okay, I will too. I miss you. Me too. Wait a minute. You don't have to say goodbye until we get to the train station. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and everybody, I mean everybody, you got it? Everybody lived happily ever after. Cindy's father, he lived happily ever after. The stepsisters, Olive and Venus, they lived happily ever after. The detective lived happily ever after. He took his thousand dollars to a crab game lost everything. Luckily, his uncle died and left him a shoe store. 
<laughs> Captain Prince lived happily ever after. He spent the years following the war posing for a recruiting statue. The stepmother became a happy step-grandmother when Michael and Cindy had the little girl. Mm. Oh, you want your mama? You ain't got no taste. A baby named Cindy. Michael was maybe happiest of all. He got the girl.
Mm. 